And they're going to tell us about some of their happiest moments. And this might even be singing. So what's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt, are you going to sing for us, Wyatt? Okay, go ahead. This is one of Wyatt's happiest moments, singing. Oh, yeah. Here we come a caroling among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you good tidings too. And we bless you and send you a happy new year. And we send you a happy new year. <laughs> I like about Davis or Shields Library, one of the biggest, well, it's the biggest library in the area. There's everything you are interested in, you can find something there. KDVS Radio, Community Radio, and the Palms Playhouse. Are you gonna, are you gonna go to picnic day? Oh, most definitely, really looking forward to it, really am. If you could create your own event, um, what would it be for picnic day? Oh, that's a tough question. I would probably say something where everybody gets together and puts their differences aside and just get along and have a good time. Are you going to give out a lot of parking tickets on picnic day? I'm not working that day, so I won't be. Um, I think it's fascinating um, to watch it, but <laughs> I think that they make Davis look a lot cooler and more fun than it actually is because they only show like the cantina and that over in all these different um, like camera angles so it looks like it's all these different places but it's really not and I think that um, I think it's pretty sad like the uh, what they've done to the sorority. Uh, you should raise all the speed limits in Davis 10 miles an hour because uh, it's completely ridiculous. Yes it's a good rule. What, do you want to ask me anything else? Can you yeah. lower that a little? Thank Just you. One question. Um, now we're going to go ask this fraternity guy what he plans to do this picnic day. And if he could create on his own event, what he would want to do. If I can create my own event okay. at picnic day, just be a fat party, I don't know. So. I don't think there's really a reason to have violence, you know, fighting violence. Um, fighting violence with violence. Uh, I just think that's wrong in particular. I haven't really followed all of the events, but I'm kind of hesitant to support any, the particular war on ter terrorism knowing the history behind America's involvement um, you know, within um, international issues and also just uh, issues you know, here, domestic uh, issues too. Should foods with genetically modified organisms be labeled? If it's genetically altered, I personally would like to know. Okay. I mean, I, I feel very uncomfortable eating food and it's not, if I don't have some way of knowing that it's not, okay, what's in it. I mean, what, what do you think about the war in general? I mean, has it affected you in any way? Um, I just have trouble knowing what to believe because I think everybody's full of crap. Uh, I take it I like local television programming. It's cool. You know much about DCTV? Uh, <laughs> it's on Channel 5. I uh, like Citizen Kane because that, I took a film class and it makes me feel intellectual when I say that. Hi, this is Dave Hatch and I'm here with Street Talk in beautiful, lovely Davis. I'm here with Jill, Zach, and Catherine. I just wanted to ask you guys a couple things about the war. Now, how do you feel about it and how has it affected you personally, Jill? Um, 
it personally it hasn't affected me that much I try not to watch too much news because it's depressing every now and then I'll watch a little Bloomberg television that's as far as that goes yeah nice interesting how do you feel the media has done an honest job of covering the war uh, I don't know you really can't tell because all anyone knows is what's on TV they don't actually know what's going on over there and how about you do you have any uh, special feelings or any messages you'd like to give any troops overseas um, I don't have any messages but um, I think I think it's a good thing that um, that like they're there Thank you. why did you do that do what I do not know what it stands for is it cable Oh, I don't have a television that has cable. I would get rid of that horrible shopping center where Borders and The Gap and Pluto's and all those places are. I don't like that shopping center at all because I think it represents nothing but corporate greed and I can't believe this town would be willing to support that kind of junk here. Over 100 summers are the norm, I better warn ya. D A V I S C A spells Davis, California. Aggie spikes, tomatoes, picnic day, green belts, and vet school. Farmers market and the rec pool. And track stops here four times a day. What more could a person ask for? What more can I say?